Hello guys, and welcome to your 16th Java tutorial on multiple constructors. Well, in the last tutorial, we just kind of took a look at regular constructors and how they could help us save time uh, so we can already set some properties of the objects w in the same line as it, when we're creating the object. That's what we did in the last tutorial. Uh, by the way, we can just delete this uh, piece of code from the last tutorial. Uh, and in this tutorial, we're going to be going over multiple constructors. And what that basically means is that, well, what if in, instead of just setting this name here, this name variable, what if we also wanted to set the power variable for each of our player objects, right? Well, in the same line of code, of course. So we would actually, we could actually modify our constructor here. And instead of just uh, passing in for our constructor a string with the name of n and setting it equal to our name global variable for the class, we could actually make another integer int p and we can pass in a certain uh, variable for the power I don't know for p and we can set it equal to the power variable of our class so really nice and simple this is all it does it just changes our constructor now check it out we can set power levels for each of our characters simply by putting a comma in and then the power level that you want your player to have so really n nothing too different than entering um, uh, pretty much arguments into a method. That's exactly how we, make, how we make constructors here. But what if, for example, what if the user didn't want to set the power level? Uh, he just wanted to set the name for our player, right? Well, whoa, then we've got a problem. We can, we can delete the power level here the power level code that we just added on but that would kind of you know limit our abilities with just one constructor well turns out we can have more than one of these constructors or more than one way that we can initialize our objects more than one method we could call and let me just type this code for a second I'll explain it right after I'm finished typing so it turns out we can make another constructor and the name of that constructor will be exactly the same as the name of our class. That's how a constructor is defined. But, all right, one second. But, they are differentiated by how many arguments they have. All right, guys? So, what we just did, we created more or less two identical methods. How, do the, how does the compiler tell them apart? Well, by the number of arguments that it has. This one only has one string argument. This one has a string and an integer argument. So it looks for one of these constructors that's, that's, uh, looks for the right constructor when we uh, initialize our object right here. So player one is equal to new player. All right, we have a string here and the power level it goes. It says, well, what constructor has a string and a power level? Oh, look, this one does. So I'll just do the code in here. But what if, say, we just wanted to put in a name? And it says, all right, all right. Uh, only only one name variable. All right, I'm I'm looking for it. Oh, here we go. String string n. Bam. It finds it and it and it does the code in this constructor. So only it it's it's something called overloaded constructors, which pretty much means that uh, each well not even overloaded constructors, just multiple constructors. There's something different in Java called overloaded methods, which is pretty much the same concept except where methods have the same names. And the compiler can only tell them apart by the number of arguments. But for constructors, it's just natural because uh, this has to be present for this met for this thing to be called a constructor. So remember, uh, different time, different uh, types of arguments, different constructors. And just for fun, let's make another third constructor. Say if the person that was initializing the object didn't want to do anything at all, uh, he could just leave it completely blank with no arguments at all. And now, if we delete all arguments, it's not giving us an error because it says, well, no arguments. All right, constructor with no arguments. Here we go. Bam. Does nothing. Uh, so, I hope you guys realize that when we're actually calling these constructors, we're actually calling different methods. Well, not even methods, different constructors from our player class. So, I'm simply, once again, uh, once again, sorry, repeating myself, told apart by the number of arguments they have. So I don't know. I've tried to be. I've tried to be uh, pretty clear there. Uh, kind of too clear by repeating myself. But let's just test this out. Let's see. System dot out dot print ln. Let's see if I can type this right. All right. So we can type p one dot. Let's use our getter. Get name. 
Uh, and we can also make a space here and we can also get uh, the power. Get the power level of our P1 character. And if we run this program, we can see that they're already pre-initialized from when we uh, from when we created our P1 instance, P1 class, which is an instance of player. And it's pre-initialized with Billy, Ryan, Bob, and 4. Uh, also, we can see that if we try to print out some of Joe's values, for example, uh, n we won't get anything because they are not initialized in the actual constructor. I don't know. I think that's kind of obvious, but just just for fun, let's call a getter for the get name method and try to print something out and we will get absolutely nothing or null. Null is when uh is when a certain variable isn't pointing to anything or it's not even um it has no information in it. That's pretty much what null means in programming. That's just to kind of, you know, uh, we'll go over more about that. We'll go uh, gosh, I'm sorry guys, I can't talk at all today. Uh, we'll go we'll go over the null keyword slash um, what it means later in this series. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this pretty much wraps up this kind of three part tutorial slash continuation. I will be starting on something new next time. I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet guys, but thanks for watching and I will see you later. Peace.